we're back from Star Talk from the Hall of the Universe. So uh, we're talking about my interview with Jimmy Carter and his efforts to eradicate the guinea worm. Something of your specialty, Mark. Yeah. You think about these kinds of things all the time. Every day. Which creeps me out. I just want you to know. Okay. Okay. Just, just. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> it doesn't creep you out. No. <laughs> so the guinea worm, it's not called the American worm. It's not called the <laughs> Russian worm. No. It's not called the Cuba worm. No. It's but called it... the guinea worm. But nobody wants a disease named after the country. That's certainly true. And President Carter knew this. <laughs> He, he did. knew this. He did indeed. And he used this to his diplomatic advantage. Yes. Okay, check it out. We had a very uh, difficult problem in Ghana, which started out with 126,000 cases, and it got down to about 35 or 40, and it stayed there for about 10 years. So I finally went to the president three times and told him we were going to change the name of the other guinea worm to Ghana worm. Oh, and, uh, right, because it's named after where it was first... Uh, discovered, in the, in the I guess, or Guinea, diagnosed. Yes, that's true. Wow. And so we, that's an awesome And we raised a lot threat. of uh, press, political pressure on him, and he finally got the word, and he became interested, and now we have zero cases that in is Ghana. A clever, <laughs> peaceful threat. Right. Uh, so, <laughs> I got to remember that. Sometimes they got kind of angry with us, but, uh, <laughs> but it works. <laughs> nice. The, the man was just throwing it down. Yo, that is, that is, I mean, that is a great little ploy. You know, Carter pulled off some more, he had some more tricks in his bag. You know, he's, he's a, he's a, he wants peace. What's the, what's the hashtag? Uh, uh, waging peace. Waging peace. And he actually used the guinea worm to achieve peace in one incident. Absolutely. Let's find out how he did it. They had a war going on that was um, fought in dry seasons and wet seasons. The dry season was when Sudan with tanks and so forth could travel easily. The wet season was when the rivers flooded and the southern Sudanese could prevail. So I went there and negotiated for quite a while with the south and north, and finally they agreed on a, on a ceasefire just so that we could do away with guinea worm, both in the north and south. And they still call it the guinea worm ceasefire. <laughs> but, but they quit fighting for more than six months. That, uh, that's, it reminds me of you know, you read about, it was in the First World War, there was the Christmas ceasefire or the Easter <laughs> ceasefire, and it's a glimmer of hope that well, there's it. some hu humanitarian dimension and in this all. it shows that if you give people a chance in a very poverty-stricken country to, to correct their own problems, they do it superbly. 